Hi guys, it's Erpa here, and in today's video I'm showing you guys how to make that amazing build up slash kill effect absolutely for free in DaVinci. So the only plans you will have to have for this tutorial is the magic build looks and software bugs. I will leave a link to them both in the description so you can download them absolutely for free. But I will also give some presets later in this video so stay tuned for that guys. But please continue to drop a like and a sub but other than that enough talking let's get right into the video. So the first step to make that amazing boot up slash kill effect is go to the music and mark the beat you want the kill to happen on by just pressing M on your keyboard. So I already done that I want the kill to happen there. Then you go to clip and mark the shot of impact. The shot of impact is the first one we see a little bit of the numbers. So here we see a little bit of the numbers. Press M on your keyboard right there that would down put down marker. Shorten it down a bit and turn on this magnet tool up here and you should be able to just slip it in so these two markers are in a straight line together. What you're going to do now, we're going to do some quick time mapping. How we're going to do this time mapping is press and click, press control R and then on the short of impact, so where you put down the marker, press on the R, add beat point, zoom in a bit. From here you're going to go 30 frames to the left, so 30 right here. Press on the R, add speed point, then you go about in the middle, it don't need to be exact, but somewhere here, add the speed point, then this first part, make change speed to 50%, and this and the other part, change it to 200%. What you're going to do now, zoom it about a bit, and what you're going to do now, you're going to drag this middle speed point until you see that this last speed point in, is in a straight line with these two markers. So we're just going to drag the middle speed point. Now we see that the last speed point is a straight line with the markers. It should look like something like this. And it looks really good in my opinion. So now we will just add a real slow mo as speed point anywhere. And in the middle, just train speed to 50%. That will add the slow mo and should look something like this. In my opinion, that looks pretty sick. So what we're gonna do now, we can just close out of the return controls. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna drag in an adjustment clip and make it so it ends on the markers or where on the shot of impact. But make sure that you don't cut down the adjustment clip in any shape or form. Leave it as it is and just drag the whole adjustment clip so it ends on the markers. What you can do now is go down to the description and in the description you should find the gold drive folder. Inside that gold drive folder you should find a preset. Basically download that preset, go to the adjustment clip, go to fusion tab, open your downloads and basically just drop the preset right here. It's just a shake, pre-shake. Drop it and connect it and all the keyframe will already be done so you're basically done with the pre-shake now you can zoom out and now you can shorten it, it from the back but don't do it before you have applied the preset what you're going to do now you're going to drag one adjustment clip more it just makes it starch on the markers and from shot of impact you're going to go 50 frames to the left so 50 right here and just drag it so it ends right there. And what you're gonna do now is go down to the same in the description and go to the same gold drive folder as you download the preset and download a look preset. And when you download it, I will show you real quick how to import it to DaVinci. So how to do that is go to this Windows search down here and just, just search up percentage local app data percentage and only click on this folder. When that's open up, go to look builder, go to looks, custom, inside of here, just drop the preset, just drop it. Then you can close out and you should have it in your domain. So how to use the preset now is to go to open effects in your effect library and search up looks. This drag and drop it on just a little, go to inspect it, go to effects, it look inside of, if you go down to the custom inside of here, you should have a brand new look called red erpy. Just double click on it and press on the check mark and it will look pretty cool. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna go to the middle of the adjustment clip where the look are. And from here you're gonna go five frames to the left. So one, two, three, four, five. And if you have a cursor over the adjustment clip, you should have see two like rectangular things in the corners. Basically take the one to the left and drag it and make it so it ends on the cursor. Right click and turn ready cache colors, put it lags left and go to playback, turn ready cache to smart and make sure to do the same thing to the pre-shake we just right click on the data just that already looks really cool but we are gonna quickly just add a kill effect what we're gonna do is go to effect take away this looks and drag an adjustment clip but this time 
when the kill happens. So make it so that just make so it starts when the kill happens. And in the single drive of the ask there all the other times, basically download another preset. And when you've done that, press on it, go to the Fusion tab, and it should be called RGB Tutorial White. Open your downloads and basically just drag and drop it. Connect real quick, and yeah, like this. You can change the colors in the S Club. Maybe you want it to be purple, I don't know. But I will we'll leave it at white. But you can play around with that. All the keyframes will already be done. Right click, run the cache color bit, and basically play it back sometimes, and it should lag less. And in my opinion, that looks really sick. But what we're gonna do, we're just gonna add a real quick black bars. How we're gonna do the black bars is drag an adjustment clip, but this time make it to start up where the second, like the smaller adjustment clip where we have the looks, make it to is exactly as long as that adjustment clip. What you can do now is press on that adjustment we just created, go down to cropping in the video tab, you may have to open it up like this. And what you do now is on the adjustment clip where we have the looks, you should see a black with like dark triangle. Basically on this adjustment clip that is above, go with your cursor about in the middle of that dark triangle, key from everything the cropping, then you go to the middle of the adjustment clip, so somewhere here, key from everything again, make the top to 90 and bottom to 90. And it should fade in like this. We can Run the cache color bit real quick, play it back sometimes and should look better. And in my opinion, that looks absolutely sick. And that basically all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please drop consider dropping a like and a sub. But yeah, other than that, see you guys in the next video.